Time for another Power Rangers Bees Morphers inquiry. So we're doing episode 37, Golden Opportunity. Actually, this read the synopsis already, which is apparently he has a tough decision to deal with his fam, his parents. So we get to see his parents arrive by taxi. His mom is pretty cute. His dad's all right. It works out nicely. They did good. They did their good work. And like what happened in Ninja Steel. Sorry to be a jerk, but it has to be said. <laughs> it's like it has to be said. They kind of just a little bit screwed up anyways. So the parents got to see who Zoe is. Parents got to be introduced to Steel, which still has some good stuff. I kind of wish instead of being like, oh, got some money for ice cream. I would have preferred, dad, we could play catch. I'm like, oh no but that would be funny as hell though that would have been even funnier than the whole money part sorry but that technically would be true that would technically be true so they actually go into the gym to have something to drink it turns out that the parents were gonna finally settle down no more going across the place but it turns out they got a brand new brand new assignment to go to and it's like oh man but then they decided to change the assignment to go to another assignment which was two years in costa rica and guess what nate you can come with us and it's like oh that's so awesome but he has duties here though it's like oh meanwhile ben and betty's back oh boy i really didn't miss them <laughs> so they are they're the ones who's gonna take all their luggage for the parents for nate's parents and go into go to the hotel lo and behold they kind of suck and you figure that and this is not funny at all this is like horrifying in total what the fuck so all the luggage from going from the gym all the way to the hotel all the luggage is now spread out there's even one bit of luggage that actually opened and all the clothes fell down oh hell no just extremely hell no i thought the first one that was lost i'm like oh great the bad guys are gonna use the freaking stuff that's in that yellow freaking damn suitcase you damn whore <laughs> So no, apparently they're gonna now have to go look for all the luggage. So meanwhile, all that they have a talk. The commander and the rangers have a talk about Nate and his possible leap departure. The fact that okay, so Gavin will do weapons, Bobby will do maintenance on the Zords, Zoe will do something, and <laughs> Steel will do the samples for him. You know, do all the sample DNA stuff. So the idea, other idea is like, okay, well, that means that you might need a new Gold Ranger, and I think technically they could do a new one. So the commander's all in, not actually feeling sad about anything, not being like, oh, the protocol and stuff. No, she actually is going to let this slide. And then we have Nate taking steel to show him how to do the sampling and how to actually record it. And then all of a sudden... Roxy comes out of nowhere and just, just like at first gives us a nice little kick in the air. And you're like, what the freak? And then she transforms and now it's like, I'm going to get you. It's like, who are you talking about? And it makes me even realize, we're like, oh, frick, if he does leave and he goes with his parents, who's to say that the, the freaking others won't actually take him? Like, I don't know who they're trying to get now. They've been wanting to get Steel, but Steel's not compatible anymore. Evox has a body, so that means they're going after Nate, which means Nate can't run anyways because or go anyways because they'll track him down, they'll send the forces, and he's all alone, which means he'll do more harm to his parents and Costa Rica than it is then woohoo, he gets to go. He gets to actually go and be with his parents. Yeah, so that's basically it. <laughs> oh man, now let's see what goes on next. So Roxy actually battles them. Mm -hmm. uh, then the other two shows up. Ravi's nowhere to be found. They fight, of course, and she's like, oh, well, actually she dodged because they went Beast X mode. So they actually, she dodged their special attack. It's like, nope. <laughs> She noticed that they have the sample and the scanner, DNA scanner. She takes those, she goes for it, she disappears, she returns. 
back to the cyber, you know. So they go back to base and they're trying to figure out some stuff. Ravi already arrived later, like arrived right after the battle. And it's like, yeah, it's checking out the Wheeler Zord. I got a little bit stuck. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, that's one thing that Nate does. Hmm. Wow, that's kind of difficult. Then we see that Zoe has to make a brand new one with a little bit of system Nate. And it actually studied up on what his parents did. It's like, wow, they're like Power Rangers because they go to one place to another when he's called for help. Hmm. I think that's about all that's really needed besides the B spots shows up. They showed up like episode two beforehand too, so that's pretty cool that they're still noticed. Um then it's time for them to go. Of course, Ben and Betty shows up again. They're like, okay, well, your luggage is ready too, and then they actually have a new invention of showing zoom luggage or whatever, which pretty cool. Kind of a little bit disruptive, but still a cool concept. Of course, there's his luggage spiders everywhere, because why not? But the parents are there, it's time for them to go, and well, meanwhile, in a cyber place. It created a new Robotron mixed with beetle DNA. So she actually fused herself with what? Plant DNA. So now she actually has a power up form thanks to flowers, which is a good reason why they say, oh, we need a power up form. She has a power up form while we're using it. So, you know, this is why. There we go. Decent, decent, decent idea. So now they both go down. <laughs> yep. And well, meanwhile, of course, um, Zoe kind of does something wrong in the next one. And we're actually trying to finish it and it's shorted out so much stuff from the screen to the transport device of the morphers which is like that's convenient <laughs> not to mention um steel's and nate's morpher wasn't even there so how did it affect theirs or I, or the transport system is so kind of flawed that it's like geez really it's like yeah I'm kind of sad you know that's kind of sad but okay whatever forget so Nate is with his parents about to leave, but he overhears what they're saying, which was the others were actually at battle and then they are tried to actually more, but oh, the transport system wasn't working. So they have no choice but to use their fisticuffs, which is like, oh, geez. So Nate actually had to go grit, go to grid battle force, grab all the weapons, put it in the caddy or put it in the, in the book bag, take cruise, cruise is gonna you, you know so he goes all the way to the place and then he actually shows from the morphers you know, everything and he's and now Cruz is going to be the caddy just in case they need stuff so here they go now they actually are able to morph and everything and there's also a robotron that shows, i mean a gigadrone that shows up so still actually had to leave meanwhile everyone else is dealing with it well nate eventually had to go help too um, but of course the beetle, yeah, the Robotron for the beetle or whatever. Anyways, he got actually dealt with by Devin and Nate, which kind of fun actually see him actually ride the just cheetah and not destroy him. It's like, oh, I guess pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. It's like, I don't remember that one, but I forget. So then he goes help steal while... Oh yeah, Devin actually joins in too. So they actually go fight the Giga Drone after they defeat the Giga Drone. Then it's just Ravi and Zoe versus Roxy. And of course, then they showed up with the car because well, they can't transport back down, question mark. So they actually drove the car to help battle. And it's like, yep, so big cannon used against her. Oh my gosh, she's down. She goes away. <laughs> She's like, oh, frick this. And she just disappears again. It's like, oh, crap. And it was worse. It's like, it's like, oh, my gosh, the DNA scanner. They have it. They can power up again using it. It's like, oh, good Lord. Personally, I thought it was going to be like all oh, the Super Shredder idea of where it's like, oh, she gets knocked out. Oh, the formula's out of her now. And now she's back to normal. No, she most likely will still keep her power up form, question mark. But it's like, yeah, the sad part is like, oh, good Lord, they still have to scan her. They can do this multiple times and they try to be strong. But then sadly, they're like the realization of they need him. They need Nate because all this stuff happened with Nate was about to leave. So Nate has no choice but to 
get chauffeured by the rangers to go to his parents to say yeah i'm needed here i'm sorry and i i thought at first that you don't love me but it's like ooh, but it's like yeah but i noticed what you're doing and they understand that he has to stay too so they get a hug and embrace and steel is getting recognized it's like yeah <laughs> it's like steel we love you too our son <laughs> it's like yeah so he gets a little bit of a moment and then they leave and that's basically it yep kind of funny that ben and betty you're like oh yeah let's shoo him poor ben and betty in here it's like no no no. they at least learned a little bit of less means more that's 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 about time it's like yeah it's about time to actually you're like this was a good moment and we're not gonna screw it over by having ben and betty getting a shoehorn in this it's like good for you it's about time you learn that good for you so this episode all by itself, I think actually was pretty good. It was pretty decent. It was a kind of touching episode. It wasn't really heavy handed or anything. There's some, you know, <laughs> how convenient moments. But other than that, I think actually was decent. Yeah. Um, from the last one, it's like, yeah, for the last two, it was just like, oh, dude, you, you had to bring your A game times 10, you know? You actually had to perform a miracle. And of course they did but hey the lower parts that deals with no needing to do anything looks like you kind of got to unlock in a way and you actually kind of step back and said oh ben and betty's not really truly needed it's like good for you you didn't have to actually end it on a funny you allowed steel to be a little bit of the funny and that's what you really need to do is have steel be the little bit of the funny haha <laughs> moments instead of having the and they tried hard. It's like they seriously tried hard to the point of where it's like, I'm pretty sure the dad has insurance on Ben and Betty. He should have by now. He should have been had that. So it's like, oh crap, they lost your luggage. Okay, how much is it? And it's like, okay, one second, let me just call my insurance company. <laughs> because he knows them and it makes sense that he gets insurance on all their hijinks. So it's like, they're able to replace everything very very easily but anyways yeah there we go i thought it was okay it's a decent episode thank goodness <laughs> thank goodness i'm able to finish the recording instead of try to remember everything which still had to do it but we're good